So we're starting the show. Uh, just me. There he is. Hey, check it out, dude. I got the Fortnite Balenciaga hat. What are you doing? Oh, Fortnite Balenciaga hat. This is a duo show. If you want free promo, you better come correct. All right? There's two people on this fucking show. Go ahead. What do you mean? What? What is that? iPad. <laughs> nice. It's a new iPad. You got Coco Melon on there? Yeah. I was just playing it. Yeah? I was just playing Roblox. <laughs> That's what the show's going to be from now on. This this. <laughs> Just you shooting up an apartment He's on, on Roblox? He's on me? On me? <laughs> on me? Oh, are you playing COD over Fortnite. there? <laughs> Fortnite on an iPad? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have the hat. No, we're playing Roblox. Yeah, Roblox. We won't be playing Fortnite until we get a proper, a proper care package, okay? Yeah. Until then, it's Roblox. Good so morning. Is the, good morning. <laughs> is the show on now? Yeah, the show is on now. <laughs> the show is on now. Guys, this is the TMT Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad-free and an extra bonus episode, you can find it right now on Patreon.com. Holy fuck, Jamie! Can we get a clip of that deer hit? Get hit by that car! The mystery of the flying saucers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. I'm gay as fuck. I'm gonna get my RC The so-called flying stuff. Look at all these fucking chickens! Malone Brown, you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> no! 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 Please look at all the signs. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for the base. You know how much this fucking thing's worth? Not not enough. You just threw it across the fucking room. Yeah. For, no free promo unless it's a piece of garbage. Back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's what it was. Yeah. You also want the hat. Yeah. Yeah. How about this? Send us something fucking cool. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I think I honestly think that like maybe I'm beefing a little bit with Balenciaga. See, with yeah. you last weekend it was Homestead. Homestead, yeah. right? That was yeah. the company. Yeah, by the way, can't remember me. Homestead, we're coming for you. Go ahead. And you're still fucking blocked, by the way. Yeah. Fuck you. But now my my corporate beef is with Balenciaga because they're fucking playing with me. Yeah. They're playing little games. Yeah. They are. They can they think they can just push my buttons. Mm-hmm. Is that what you think? Huh? Social media intern for Balenciaga? You thought this was funny, huh? It's good. Yeah, be- this was all super funny. Oh, wait, wait. I saw what he said on the podcast about the NASA backpack. So let's send him another care package in a box, by the way, that was this big. The box was this big. It showed up at my door. I'm like, what the fuck could this be? Take some scissors, open it up. Balenciaga? They must have heard what I said. And maybe this time they sent me a fucking t-shirt or something that I could actually wear. Yeah. Right? So then I lift up the the gift package inside the box. It's a little bit smaller, probably three times as small as the box actually was. The rest was just tissue paper, right? Right. I look at that. I said, okay, a little light. What could, what could, maybe it's a wallet. Yeah. You know, something of value, mm-hmm. right? I peel it open. I look inside and all I see is the Fortnite logo staring at me. I look, I said, you fuckers, you fuckers. You think this shit is funny? Do you? You think this is funny? (laughs) Good gag, you guys. (laughs) So good. It's not funny. I'll tell you what is funny. (laughs) When whoever sent you that hat gets fired because they get caught. What are you doing sending merch to podcast hosts? You're fucking fired. You're an idiot, and you're fired. I listen to their pod. We don't care. You're fired. That's going to be the funniest part. But I don't understand. It's a Fortnite. It's our Fortnite clap. It's much cooler. I don't care what you think about this. It's much cooler than that. You're actually, we're going to get a cease and desist to delete the episode and to for you to send it back to them after he gets caught yeah. having sent you that hat. Yeah. But guess what? We're in space, so you can't cease and desist anything. The only uh, C is and Ds you'll get is, yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. I don't even have to say it. You took that one. I gotta, I gotta, I said this on the live show, but I have to tell them about this because it was such a fucking ridiculous moment, okay? What? And they would have, just the audience would have loved to have seen this. When we killed that baby? 
when we no <laughs> no that was no oh, with oh. all the tobacco products. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you Wasn't mean that? when when we put on when we had those two performers come out and have sex so brutal that even the devil would clutch his rosary? Yeah, we hired them from the box. Yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah. No, what, what moment? When when we shot that person's dad. Well, no, that was more of like a sad moment. That wasn't as funny. Yeah, kind of. He was 80. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, continue. We, we, it was, so like we, we took a pee break, right? Or no, it was during the Cody and Noel do or whatever. Like yeah. 70% of the show is live and then we have like pre-recorded stuff that we play. Yeah. To like, so we can go like pee and shit like that. And so the I don't Cody pee. and Noel do Wait, is hold on, hold blank. on. Let's get something clear. I don't pee, I piss. I went for a wee. <laughs> I went for a wee. I went to the loo for a wee. Could you direct me to the loo so I could wee? <laughs> so I'm standing over there, right? And one of the kids that we had come in to play a trick or treater. He didn't or, play. A sorry, he was an actual trick or treater. Take that house. again. So one of the one of the kids that we had come in that was one of the kids that came in and was a trick or treater, mm-hmm. right? He was eight years old. Yeah. And uh, his brother was there too, probably a little bit older than him. It's like twelve, right? Yeah. And they were still in the ship when I went to take a wee. Um, in the little girl's room and I'm standing there I like standing against the wall like this waiting for the bathroom and his little brother again who's like 11 or something like that comes up to me he's like dude big fan man he like daps me up I'm like thanks man and he was like do you know Sea of Thieves and I was like uh yeah isn't that like a video game or something he's like see if these nuts fit in your mouth 11 years old and you daft him up prior that's fucking right before too and I was like and he was like ha 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 and just walked away and I was like Bruh. Then you had to go take a wee. Yeah, and then I you th- and then you, I piddled. <laughs> yeah, you piddled. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I took a little tinkle. You thought about peeing standing up, but you sat down. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Forward. <laughs> yeah. I sat down facing the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah on the toilet start. like this. <laughs> <laughs> and I tinkled, and that I mean that was a sad moment for me. What's so, that? Anyways, fuck you, Balenciaga. Fuck yeah. you. Yeah. Get this I'm shit out of here. Fucking played. That kid, Balenciaga. You're getting owned. Back the right fuck now. off. Let me live. All right. Also. God damn it. When after that, after that kid said that to you, I love this. Just trying to. <laughs> after that kid said that to you, they should have just handed you. What's isn't there like a, a like a roadside assistance cup for women, so they can pee on the side for of the women? road. Yeah, for weemen. <laughs> Is that what you just said? Yeah, for weemen. Weemen. <laughs> yeah, when they're wean. I thought there was like this like rubber cup that it was like sold on an infomercial that women could use like if they're, you know, driving somewhere. They have to <laughs> pee on the side of the road. You haven't seen that shit? No, Google that. Yeah, it's like an oil change funnel. Google repurpose women for women. on side of road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with cup. No, don't Google that. <laughs> <laughs> no, Google that. Yeah, I thought it was like this, you know, it was like an attachment. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe and it gave you know, maybe it like (laughs) it it like turned the vagina into like the nose of the Tin Man from the Wizard of Oz, so it could just like. Yeah, don't actually don't just. I meant like that was the beginning of the search, and then you should add some shit onto that. (laughs) (laughs) Women peeing on side of the road, yeah. (laughs) Start describing hair color and shit. (laughs) Yeah, that thing. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Pitch and trek. Oh, it's Pitch like for truck. hikers? Yeah, that's what they should have gave you after he hit you with the sea at the... Yeah, yeah. He should have just been like, ha, 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 then slapped that on your chest. <laughs> Go pee into a trash can, loser. <laughs> yeah, it sucked. I like the juicy tracksuit. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm looking like someone's mom today. Yeah. That's how, that's how fast I had to be here. I had to put on a tracksuit <laughs> so I'd be aerodynamic getting to the ship. I ran straight to that... Straight to the gateway. Did you? Uh, I saw it waiting. It's like everyone waiting on the ship. It was glowing blue. I fucking hopped out of my car and just. And then whoosh. Yeah. And when I jumped into it, I, I, I went ass first. I jumped and turned around and. Yeah. Or, oh, butt first. Like yeah. That. I grabbed my legs and I. Oh, you didn't jump and grab your legs like this? <laughs> no, some days I do that. <laughs> yeah, I do the splits, legs up in the air and just go wide. So that when it drops you on the ship. Yeah. You land in the splits. Yeah. No, I land on my back. Yeah. <laughs> and it hurts. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's up, boys? I'm here. 
came straight to it. You know, I have to say, from my place to getting up to the ship, I was putting a smoking hot lap. I've never driven that reckless. Really? I'm not proud of that. But there was no one on the road, so, you know. It's your go-kart driving. L- a little bit. Rubbing was- off on your city driving a little bit. Not even. It was just more like there's this long stretch that I drive down and how rare it is to hit four green lights in a row. Yeah. I saw them all. Like, man, it was like a movie. It was like, bing, bing, bing. I'm That's like, just LA in general. Yeah. Why didn't they time any of the lights? Uh, but it was one of those moments where I'm just like, I <laughs> I'm like, I gotta get this. <laughs> and the feeling of going down that street with no stops, man, that like I came. <laughs> I got to that fifth stoplight and I just went, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it took me so long to get here. I was late the remaining. And so drive. that's why you had to change from your real outfit. Yeah. Into your it's my aerodynamic yeah, outfit. Yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah. No, actually I had the I had the trek in whatever. <laughs> what's the the the, the pickup <laughs> but for coming for coming yeah <laughs> quick top off <laughs> <laughs> just threw it out the window yeah here here's another little beef story we have more beef actually yeah we do have more beef With- oh oh we can talk about it. i i do quickly want to update everyone on the homestead situation oh okay okay Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, ExpressVPN. Uh, listen, you shouldn't be using the uh, internet uh, raw dog. Yeah. You should be using it protected, and that's what protected. ExpressVPN does. Why don't you tell them? ExpressVPN lets you change your online location so you can control where you want sites to think you're located. Open the app, select the location, tap one button to connect, and refresh the page to access thousands of new shows and movies. Uh, choose from almost 100 different countries. You can watch Studio Ghibli films uh, on UK Netflix. You can watch anime on Japanese Netflix. You can watch Doctor Who on UK Netflix. The and, list goes on. Yeah, this works with any streaming service, Hulu, BBC Player, BBC iPlayer, sorry. <laughs> I'm such an idiot! YouTube even. Uh, listen, ExpressVPN is so easy, you just download it and you click a button and then you're connected. <laughs> Uh, you can stream in HD, no problem, no buffering, no lag. It's compatible with all your devices, phones, laptops, media consoles, smart TVs, and more. Yeah, not only does it let you change your location, it also encrypts your data and lets you surf the web anon- uh, safely and anonymously. So go to expressvpn.com slash TMG to get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. expressvpn.com slash TMG. Was that in the bonus we talked about in the main? Uh, we talked about that in the main, at the very beginning of the main. Yeah, whatever. Everyone's, so, yeah, a little update. So, you know, I'm not don't you don't have to go brigading their comments. That's not a, what I was looking for. But some people took it upon themselves, and the comments were really funny. The irony of the whole thing was I don't know if it was really irony, but they posted a picture of the place I stayed at. That was like their social media post for the day. <laughs> Wait. After yeah. the episode came out? Yeah. At, like, to, to yeah. stick it to you? No, I think they had no clue. <laughs> no way, dude. Yeah. It was the same fucking person that sent me the Balenciaga hat. Maybe, yeah. Contracts for both companies. Yeah, it's just one intern. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're going to get fired. Fuck you. So they post that picture. And, you know, if you go to their other posts, their engagement is ass. Yeah. Like one comment. Like one bot comment. It's like, ooh, beautiful. Or someone being like, I'm all alone and pussy wet. I shouldn't have said this. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, don't look at my story. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the one. I can't believe I posted that. <laughs> don't look at my story. Anyway, they're, so the, the post, someone sends it to me and they're like, damn, they're already getting them. <laughs> I was like, uh-oh. I was a little nervous. I don't know what you guys are going to do. <laughs> it's 44 comments. Okay. All of them just really nice variations that's dope when did the ceo come on the bed (laughs) sick does this house come with cum stains imagine paying x dollars for cum stains wow your your ceo must come it was just like all ceo come come and when a few posts back so they limited comments on everything and they deleted that post (laughs) you know like some bitches and uh and have they still like have they not reached out to you directly still no what? No, yeah. That's absurd. I'm surprised they didn't the caption wasn't like 
be our beautiful remote place with a very in Joshua clean Tree bed. that is not spooky at all. Yeah, <laughs> and has a very clean bed <laughs> and very clean. Sheets, and our CEO does which are not... dark gray, not black. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Which have asphalt gray <laughs> sheets. Okay, and dark obsidian is the color of the comforter, and okay. barely any cum. <laughs> And the only place to come is here, okay? <laughs> the only only type of coming people do is here. It's here, and home. they enjoy their stay normally. And they're not freaked out because it's not spooky, <laughs> and it is not on an uncomfortable place. And anyone who thinks it is, is a pussy. That's the caption. It's like this long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just so hurt about it. So And so many people were like, hashtag refund Noel. I was like, I kind of like this. <laughs> It's kind of like I went to jail or something. It's like free me. Like, I would go to the page and look at those right now but the, on my iPad here. Yeah, but I fucking blocked them. So. Yeah, as you should. I can't oh. look at shit. <laughs> yeah, that's that was their tone with me when I was like talking to them about. Yeah, you, sorry, you're just on, blocking them again. I was on the pad. What's up? <laughs> you just unblocking them to block them again? Yeah, yeah, just to stick it to them. Yeah, double blocked. I unblocked and then I commented refund Noel and then I blocked them again. Nice. So it immediately removed your comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they got the notification. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. No, they, uh, like, that was their tone with me, obviously, when they were going back and forth with me. We didn't even go back and forth. I wasn't even, I wasn't even a dick or anything. I was just cool. I'm like, and I went back and read what I said. And I was like, dude, I was doing more to figure it out than they were. I was like, oh, do you maybe have another place open nearby? Like, I'm willing to that. And they were just like, no. No. <laughs> Everything's booked. Go fuck yourself. It's a nice house. It's not scary. And so, yeah, it should have been like a night. It's October, you pussy. You're supposed to be a little spooked out, all right? It's fucking October. It's in the theme. You clearly haven't been to a haunted house yet this month. We know. Yeah. So just get spooked out a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It, Is there any other house I could... How about this sack the fuck up, dude? <laughs> how about that? Dude. Is there any other house I could go to? They just sent me a screenshot of a security camera in the house just watching us, like a secret one. Just like... <laughs> that's a That's an empty corner. How are you doing that? Sack the fuck up. You get what you paid for. You think this is scary? <laughs> yeah. You haven't seen anything yet. Yeah. Wait till our CEO gets down there. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be funny if they sent you a picture of like a bounce house or something like that. And they're yeah. like, here you go. Here's a house for you, little bitch yeah, you, child. Little pussy. <laughs> little pussy. <laughs> How's this? This is a ball pit. Yeah. A fucking Chuck E. Cheese. This this is seems like it's more suited for you, you fucking little bitch. They just fucking, they get that shit from kindergarten, that big like rainbow parachute that yeah. everyone would run under. They're like, oh, maybe this would be a better home for you, you fucking weenie. <laughs> Look, it's got lots of bright colors for you. Yeah. Stupid. Oh, I'm sorry. All of our panic rooms are booked. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we have an escape room nearby if you want to sleep in that. It's up to you. Yeah, I would have, I would have almost preferred a nine-paragraph subtweet. Yeah. We could keep this going. Yeah. But the fact that they're just convinced that, you know, like some like anal like realtor was like, no, this is a beautiful home. It's like it's not. Yeah. It stinks. <laughs> it fucking sucks. And everyone that likes that house probably does sex trafficking. I don't know. It's. What? it's <laughs> and you can quote him on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put that in the fucking New York Times. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna start like a whole other like conspiracy. Like remember when Wayfair, everyone's like the forty thousand dollar hat. Yeah. They're hiding kids. Yeah. They're gonna do the same shit with Homestead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> On the TMG podcast, Noel said this house <laughs> came with cum stains. <laughs> <laughs> well, so now we have Homestead beef, right? We have Balenciaga beef. And uh, I don't really see an end in sight for either of those. Nah. But now we have celebrity beef as well. Do we want to do this? Machine Gun Kelly hit me up. No No, nah, no, no, I'm kidding. But could you imagine? I would have been like, yeah. That Beam up sick. to the shit, man. Slap us both. No, it's not that. It's, uh, oh, yeah, do we want to? I feel like actually, yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. So we noticed that Gary V follows us on Instagram. Yeah. Right? And... 
And so, you know, we've DM'd a little bit now. Believe well, it or not. I tried, but he left me on red. Sorry, Gary. You want the smoke. It's all right. I understand. Well, I mean, like, it's better than what he sent me. Yeah. He's sending me his own stuff where he talks about, like, people that hate on other people. Oh, yeah. You hate her? And he's just like, send me that, and then I'll just like it. And I'm not really sure what the relationship is at this point. He's cucking you. Does he hate us? Does he like us? I have no idea. I don't know. We have to find out. That's a wild thing to do. Send yeah. DM someone a clip of yourself saying something to someone else that's vaguely related to like <laughs> the it's just crazy. Yeah, real homestead moves right there. It is. Yeah. It's kind of a f boss ass move, honestly. Yeah. I'm not even gonna write I'm anything. I'm going to send you a clip that I already recorded because that's how little I care about this conversation. I already spoke about I already this said kind of. some shit. I'm not even going to waste my time breathing, writing new words. You should have responded by like, <laughs> like downloading the TikTok of us talking about him and then just sending him <laughs> the raw file. So it's like play video and he, and he, and he opens it and it's just us. <laughs> You like Dogecoin, right? Picture your family eating 5,000 marbles. Picture, picture yourself microwaving vomit and then eating the vomit. <laughs> you like racing, right? Gross, Gary V. Yeah. <laughs> you like racing, right? Yeah. Picture going into the urinal at 4 o'clock <laughs> and eating the shit produced from all the adrenaline of all drivers on track that day. Dude, so many people in the bonus said that we actually made them almost puke. <laughs> you're, and the thing is with the people that are listening right now, you don't even know what we're talking about. Yeah. But we yeah, had like yeah, we had yeah. like a gross out challenge at the end of the last bonus episode where we like <laughs> <laughs> tried to make the audience vomit. Imagine popping a pimple directly into your mouth. <laughs> Imagine witnessing a bowl of Italian gnocchi. And you bite into the first one and you realize they're all cysts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Someone is sitting at their desk right now and just went, <laughs> <laughs> So you want to know about Shiba Inu coin, huh? Imagine a bucket of hot diarrhea <laughs> sitting in the sun. <laughs> Hey guys, we want to take another quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, BetterHelp. Is there something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? Uh, well, BetterHelp wants to assess your needs and help you match with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating with one under 48 hours. Uh, BetterHelp is not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional therapy done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in your area. Uh, the service is available for clients worldwide. That's the benefit of being on the internet. Uh, you can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy to and free to change therapists if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline therapy and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Yeah, so if you're interested, go to betterhelp.com slash TMG. That's better, H-E-L-P, and join the over 2 million users that have uh, used the site to take charge of their mental health uh, with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they're recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. Uh, right now, they'll give you 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash TMG. Yeah, this is the one he sent me. I watched this. Play it. One do or you might be thinking is interesting because... You say no, you say no, that's stupid, that's stupid. While you're saying that's stupid, or she's stupid, or they don't get it, or that's ridiculous, or shit's fucked up, people are out here fucking executing. Fucking talking shit from the sidelines, eating a fucking hot dog and drinking a Slurpee has nothing to do with the athletes on the field. Remember that. Was Most that, of you was don't that do a, shit that you oh, actually Oh, 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 I see it was a, a sports analogy there. 
I thought he was talking about this <laughs> sludgy cut that we cut. had. Yeah. I was going to say, hey, there's a lot of people on TikTok who disagree with that. Yeah. So, hey, man, don't shit on the slushy cup, yeah. bro. Yeah. Sitting on the sidelines. I mean, does this count? We're in space. No, we're, we're above. You can't get much more sidelined than us. You can't get much more condescending than space. We're literally looking down on everyone. That's true. Okay. That's true. You can't really. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is the DM. He said, had to do it. Which I don't know. Also, don't don't know what that means. Like, had to send this to you, or had to say it because you suck. Probably because yeah, I think. Yeah. See, I but I don't think he. I don't know if he. I don't think he actually dislikes us. I like him. Yeah, I like him. I just, I think he's really easy to make fun of. But obviously, he knows that. Yeah. Yeah, he. He seems like he he's, <clears throat> he always comments on people that like roast him. Yeah, and the dude who does the impersonation of him. Yeah, like, he oh, said that. it was really funny. Yeah, so. <clears throat> I don't. I don't think he takes any of it personally. Well, I. I think right now it might be a little bit of a beef, and yeah, I don't know. Slightly, it's kind yeah. of like a skirt steak, a little beef. You know, be the. You know, be the ultimate. What? That was nice. Sorry, I didn't acknowledge that. That was nice. Yeah, skirt steak. You. you know what? I'm gonna big you up on on the live show real quick when you handed the the dip pouch mm-hmm. to the little trick or treater. People felt that. Uh, the majority of people slept on your your bit about you'll be buzzing. They didn't. I didn't even put that. Together. I know. I know. I know. That was like because you were just talking about like head buzz, yeah. or whatever. But I, everyone's like, dude, no one. There's a few comments. I shouldn't say everyone. A few comments out of the many were were saying, did no one put together a buzzing, <laughs> and she's a B. <laughs> Come on. So I definitely meant to make that joke, <laughs> and that was totally planned, and I'm really at that level. Seriously, it's crazy. But uh, though the best part of that, that whole clip is her, her little, okay, yeah, okay, okay, you'll be buzzing all night, okay, so fucking funny. Nailed it. God damn, that, like, everything about that clip, the way that the camera angles switch, it's perfect. fucking perfect. Yeah. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. I was <clears throat> I shed a tear when I watched that. That shit was live. Yeah. And it's perfect. And How? There's a she's four years old. Literally, yeah. you cannot depend on a four year old to do anything. Yeah. And she could not have been more perfect. Yeah. I mean <laughs> she's probably a little bit, you know, from just go, going straight up to a spaceship. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Her yeah. and her mom. Yeah. So I guess we just her mom's hands were really funny to me too. Yeah, that was just, really funny. <laughs> just go. Go into there, whatever that is. Yeah. Whatever they're gonna give you. Yeah, just yeah, get some candy. <laughs> this weird place. No, she comes it, back. Holy fuck! Wait, you got grizzly wintergreen? <laughs> takes it out. Yeah, yeah, that's mine now. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's for yeah you, mama's man. buzzing. <laughs> and her mom's actually a bee. Queen bee. All right, our, I'm a- our comedy periods are synced up. I'm gonna play some Fortnite. <laughs> No, we do have a bit of a skirt stake with these people, but you know what would be the ultimate? What? Gary comes on the show, Mm -hmm. and he's like, you want to know something, Noel? I own Homestead. (laughs) (laughs) Those sheets? Those sheets? You're welcome. (laughs) While you're worried about Cum stains on the sheets. People are sleeping People in that are bed. out there executing on c- coming onto other sheets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. So that's our that's our little beef. That's our skirt steak. Yeah, little beef. Tiny little beef. That's our uh, <clears throat> that's our tartar for the day. Mm-hmm. We don't do tea <laughs> on this on this podcast. We do tartar. We, we do tartar. That's good. That's when it's raw, right? Yeah. Yeah. Doused in. Yeah. Yeah. Beef tartare. You know what's good? Chicken tartare. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what? that's actually a thing somewhere. Yeah, I know it's a thing, but you've eaten it? No, never. Oh. <laughs> I thought chicken tartare is for dogs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just... think it's even unhealthy for them, honestly. Yeah, I thought it was just dog food. No, because you have to cook chicken. You can't give a dog raw chicken. I, th- I thought dogs can process raw meat. Yeah, raw steak and stuff like that, just like humans can. 
I think you can give can it. Can you? Yeah, I think you can give a dog raw chicken. No. Google that. What, yeah, Google that. Woman peeing on side of rope. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't the dogs get salmonella? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. Look it up. Yeah, dude, you're the one sitting in front of a literal computer, Luke. <laughs> Why are you asking us? <laughs> so am I, though. Wait, I'll actually look that up. <laughs> Why did you get an iPad? Women peeing on side. You have one, cool. too. Oh, I do. Yeah, you have one, too, dude. I'm glad to be iPadless. We're the pad boys. This is literally the ultimate... Like, I bet you Gary Vee is jealous of this chair. I made Could this, this not be more perfect for him? Yeah. Like, you could not be, like, this is, for a busy guy, this is the perfect chair. Bro. You can broadcast, look shit up, do work, emails. Hook me up to my my Amazon, uh, like, burger feed. Yeah. Like, just the, that comes through the tube, yeah, and exactly. I'll never leave this seat. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trading. You know you can feed a dog raw chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you dog. Find your dog in the middle of munching some raw chicken. Don't panic. It's a new raw chicken. You bought it in the supermarket and prepare. They'll be fine. Yeah, you're right. However, if it's unwashed and fresh from the market, take it away from your dog at once. First of all, you don't wash chicken, man. You're not supposed to do that. Yeah, who washes their chicken? Some people do it. Some people have like superstition about that shit. What? Mm-hmm. I grew up around people like that. Washing chicken? Yeah. That That's shit, weird. That grossed me out. That's so weird. Yeah. I'd be like eight years old, like, don't do that. And they'd be like, shut up before we put you in the pan. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, fuck me. Yeah, that's <clears throat> weird. I, uh. Oh, I just had a crazy memory. Sorry. No, it's fine, dude. <laughs> I just, before we get off. No, it's, it's, it's worth it. It's worth the interruption. What? I watched my grandma behead a chicken. No way, a live one? A live one, yeah. No way. Yeah, they like... Did it run around without its head? Nah, they like went to this market and they like got a bunch of food and then they just brought it back like in a... Like there's no way this market was legal. This chick's just like... (laughs) She just got it in her hand. This is my great grandma. No. (laughs) Way more gangster, like way too comfortable. Just like, it's like bucking and going crazy and she's just smiling. She's like, give me that knife. Give me that knife. And she takes it. She goes to the side of the place. And like me and all my cousins were like, what the fuck? And she's just smiling, just looking back a little bit. Just like, yeah. Good for you. Ten? Nine or ten? Oh, my God. She's just, she's just looking back like, yeah. She's like, turn around. You don't want to see this. Turn around. Where's your grandma from? <laughs> I almost got you. A cold place. <laughs> Metaphorically cold. Yeah. <laughs> She's from Antarctica. <laughs> she, she hasn't seen live food in 20 years. She got so excited that she could see a live chicken. She had to smite it. I'm just laughing at the chicken running around like gobbling. And your grandma just... Grabs you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> see, kids, this is what happens when you don't stay quiet. All right? You guys going to talk in the car ride home? <laughs> Bro, her hands were like covered in blood and she just had chicken head and knife in one hand and like empty neck in the other. And she's just, la- just laughing. She's like, someone get the hose, please. We're like, ah, yeah. <laughs> grandma, what the fuck? Yeah. Er- everyone's crying. Yeah. All the adults laughing. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Hola, guys. We want to take another quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, Babbel. You guys all know I've been a huge fan of Babbel for a while now. I've been having so much fun learning Spanish. Now there's uh, even more ways to learn with their latest release, Babbel Live. For anyone who's ever wanted to learn a new language in a classroom setting from the comfort of their home, Babbel Live is your answer. Babbel Live is a subscription-based live online class with top certified language teachers. Classes are limited to six students to create a comfortable and judgment-free learning environment. There are hundreds of classes offered each week. Select the ones that work best for your schedule. You'll be able to interact with other students at your level and get instant feedback. Babbel Live classes are offered by Focus, so you can choose the topic that works best for you. Learn how to have conversations related to travel, work, and other topics. The goal is to help you learn the language skills that will be most useful in your life. Classes are currently available in Spanish, French, German, and Italian, with more coming soon. Your Babbel Live subscription gives you full access to the Babbel app, which offers lessons, games, podcasts, and more. Take as many classes as you want, 
for just uh, one monthly price. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, get up to 65% off unlimited Babbel live classes when you go to babbel.com slash TMG. That's babbel.com slash TMG for up to 65% off your unlimited Babbel live plan. I, you ever killed a lobster? You ever done that? No. What's that like? Horrifying. It, it, my first time, like, <laughs> you could feel the life like removing removed from this living Did you say creature. removing? removing? Oh my god, dude. Call your parents right now and tell them to disown you. <laughs> you said removing on I a didn't podcast. say removing. <laughs> I said removing. <laughs> I said reboobing, okay? Just, <laughs> just leave me alone. You reboobed a lobster? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, literally this thing's like it's a California lobster so it's like this big. My friend dives and so last year he he was like <laughs> you said my friend died. I'm like what's going on? I killed him too. <laughs> the friend- lobster killed him so i had to take revenge <laughs> on the lobster <laughs> all right so you get the lobster. my friend dives yeah and uh every year like now it's lobster season in california i think october is like he every year he goes out and he dives and he gets a bunch of lobsters and he gives them to people yeah and you can't get them at restaurants for some reason they don't like serve them i don't know why they're like endangered or something so you can't really <laughs> sell them yeah you can only like the only way you can actually eat these things i'm pretty sure is if you are a a diver yourself and you get them or if someone gives them to you damn and so and they're fucking gigantic these things are like this big yeah and so he drops three off at my place in a bucket and when i said when he said like do you want some lobster i was like yeah i thought he was gonna like prep it for me and shit like that he drops off three live lobsters you just have like, fucking yeah in a box yeah you're just like ah. I'm like ah what the fuck do i do and he was like well you gotta kill it first before you cook it and so the way you do it is you hold down the front part and then you grab the tail and you just rip the half of its body off and then watch it die. And it squeals. It screams. So the whole time, and it's hard to get the tail off because you're like pulling this thing's fucking guts out. And so I'm like, <laughs> oh, and it's like, uh, and I was like, yes. I was gonna scream like more a groan. Just like you, ah, you, fuck! You, know, you just drink. It's like, oh shit, <laughs> brother, what the fuck? <laughs> it's just, ow, <laughs> ow, why? So much pain. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh, oh damn it damn damn put it in the back <laughs> <laughs> shit <laughs> okay <laughs> okay okay <laughs> damn that's so funny yeah first time i think i ever it's hilarious to rip apart a sea spider dang it sucked but then i cooked it <laughs> and he was delicious Bless you, lobster, for your bountiful meat. (laughs) Damn, bountiful meat? Yeah. (laughs) Amongst us. (laughs) Amongst Amongst us. (laughs) I love lobster for their bountiful meat. Ass meat, booty meat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you are eating ass. Yeah. Nice. That's what the lyric should have been. If your chick come close to me. I'm gonna eat the booty like booty meat. fresh lobster booty meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. That would have been way better. Wait, <clears throat> that makes me think of this TikTok I saw. <laughs> First of all, I like we're just laughing about shredding a fucking organism. It was into... scarring. Seriously, that that must have felt sick though. That must have felt like you felt the power of being human right there. Oh yeah. Like you held that fucker, you're like you don't even know it's about to happen. Because I was scared of it before too. Uh, you know, it's like got his pinchers, whatever, and they're like, yeah, if it like latches onto you, it fucking hurts. So I'm like, ah, I'm trying to avoid the thing, and then I just fuck, <laughs> pinch me now, fucker. No, I'm kidding. Peter, did we get that? <laughs> Peter, did we get that? Send him to jail. Uh, I took no satisfaction. <clears throat> And then I killed two. Yeah, I killed two more. You killed this whole family. Yeah. No, I actually didn't. One was enough. I was like, I'm not doing this again. So I just let the other ones die. <laughs> yeah, that's so way they, better. They definitely suffered more than the one I killed. 
You just leave them in the bucket? Yeah, I just left them in the bucket. Did you eat those guys too? I think I put them in the dumpster, actually. <laughs> can you imagine, like, can you imagine getting dragged out of fresh air into a bucket <laughs> with, like, two other strangers? You're like, where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> and one of you just gets lifted out of there. Like, help me! <laughs> ah! <laughs> And it's just you two in the bucket. <laughs> Wondering if that's going to happen yeah. to you. <laughs> but, and then you just get slumped off into a dumpster. And that's it. A raccoon just picking at your dead ass corpse. Just... Yeah. We're not going to make it through the bonus. Huh? <laughs> the bonus is toast after this shit. I'm dead. Bro, that, rem that makes me think this TikTok. The caption, you no, know, the dude's like, okay, if you ever need to, this is how to humanely kill a squid. Okay. <laughs> Key, <laughs> keyword, humanely. Okay. He's like, you hold it down like this, and you're just going to chop it behind the head and then chop it behind the spine. <laughs> it just changes colors and dies. I'm like, how is that humane? All right. <laughs> Here's how you mainly kill a squid. You're just going to fucking... <laughs> <laughs> so horrible. Back of the skull caved in, and then, like, your L3 or whatever, just gone. Here's how to humanely kill a squid. And <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> takes out a gun. <laughs> just grabs it by... Shoots in the head. <laughs> Grabs it by the tail with the camera tracking, just onto the pavement, just swing it, just fucking, <laughs> just slam it on the fucking, swing it against the wall. Here's how you, <laughs> here's how you humanely kill a squid. Just slides over a food blender. <laughs> <laughs> just cut that shit up. Bottom first, yeah, brain last. <laughs> Remember, brain last. Just, Remember, brain last. Spraying <laughs> fucking everywhere. <laughs> brain always last. B A L. Brain always last. Turns out a humanely kill a squid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just walks it over to a fucking table saw. <laughs> just. <laughs> Killing fish is so funny. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. This is the this episode is murderous. <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. It's not funny though. It's not, it's not funny. funny. If you're laughing at putting a a live squid through a table saw, you're a bad person. Yeah, that's not funny. That's at all. not funny. You should definitely not laugh at getting a bucket full of squids and throwing them into a lawnmower upside down. That's not funny. A wood chipper. <laughs> Just spraying out little bits of squid. <laughs> Damn it. So what's up with Prince William? <laughs> yeah, so in other news, <laughs> Prince William. What did he do? I don't know. He's like trying to have an opinion on things. He's like so <laughs> he's so clearly on like a PR tour. You know he met up with KSI? What? Yeah, KSI Why? posted this picture of him meeting the two. I don't know, bro. Maybe they were both at an event and it just sort of happened. BBC News reported Prince William suggests entrepreneurs should focus on saving Earth rather than space tourism. Bro, didn't your family like enslave people for like hundreds of years? Like, I don't think you should just put your fucking money where your mouth is. <laughs> yeah, can't of, like, you? Yeah, can't, can't you, you save the save Earth, Earth? Stupid. A like, <laughs> could they? Could they have written a less controversial headline? Yeah, too. Yeah, literally, no one is going to disagree with that. <laughs> Except for William Shatner, <laughs> dude. This is this is why the royal family is so dumb because like they can never talk. So he thinks speaking is controversial. Yeah, I'm going to have an opinion. Yeah, <laughs> on live television, and there's nothing they can do about it. Yeah, we should not litter. <laughs> cool, man. <laughs> Thanks. Good. That's perfect. Thank you. Yeah, awesome, man. Okay, um, coming how about, up. How about how about Jeff Bezos maybe tries to I don't know, gee, save the Earth? Yeah, thanks, William. Uh, t your brother <laughs> is in California. Is he doing anything interesting? Because this interview sucks. 
I think we should be focused on saving the earth rather than trying to leave it. Cool. Isn't your family racist? <laughs> <laughs> that's sick man didn't you make your half brother's mom like commit suicide or something like didn't you do something like that no yeah we should definitely have three trash cans one for recycling yeah no, good call William one for trash yeah no definitely oh also speaking of Prince William, we figured out what quote I was referring to with I am something. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it was I'm in your face with Vin Diesel yeah. from Fast and Furious. Cody called that out to me. I was like, yes, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Because there was a bunch face. of, because that was, yeah, that was the energy. That was like the intonation that you were like yeah. mimicking when you were like, I'm in, uh. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Not like that. I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> that's what the squid sounded like. <laughs> When it got smacked onto the concrete. <laughs> Are you good? Yeah, I'm fine now, yeah. That's what it was, though. It was, um, it's a meme. It's like a yeah. gif that someone, like, edited yeah. from the first, that's from the first one, right? Fast yeah. and the Furious? Is that from And he goes, hey, man, he was in your face. He was in my face. And he said, I'm in your face. I'm in your face. And then it goes back to Paul Walker, and he has Vin Diesel's face. Yeah. He was in my face. Here. Oh, Such a fucking classic. Watch your back. Hey man, he was in my face. I'm in your face. <laughs> <laughs> so good, cause so fucking oh, good. I'm I'm in your face. Oh, God, okay, cause right, I'm I'm in his face. Right, in the face. Yeah. Oh, I'm in his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's in his face. <clears throat> Why'd you bring the Buster back to the fork? Cause the Buster kept me out of handcuffs. Sorry. But the amount of suggestions that we had about oh, yeah. your face. Um, there was uh there's one from Entourage, I am Queens. Yeah. I am Queens I am or something. Queens. There's uh I am the one who knocks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you. Pretty good impression, right? Yeah. That is from Breaking Bad. Hey guys. Another quick break, real quick to thank a sponsor, Liquid Death. Listen, you may start noticing there are strange tall boys of beer in the bottled water section. What the heck are those doing there? Well, it's not beer. Guess what? It's actually mountain spring water from the Alps, and it's called liquid death. You know, you know, you may be wondering, why is it called liquid death? Well, it's because it will brutally murder your thirst, and their infinitely recyclable tall boy cans are helping to bring death to plastic bottles. They also donate 10% of the profits from every can sold to help kill plastic pollution. Did you know... Plastic isn't actually recyclable anymore, and that most plastic you throw in a recycling bin just gets sent to the landfill anyways because it's just not profitable to recycle. Aluminum is infinitely recyclable and actually profitable for recycling facilities, so the more you know. Yeah, also, you guys know we drink the drink the absolute piss out of liquid death. Can I we do. say that? Yeah, yeah, I do, actually. I drink the fucking sparkling water. Yeah. My fridge is constantly stocked with that shit. So you can be bubbled up. You all know we drink liquid death regularly here on the ship. It's the only water from Earth that we want to sip when we're up here in space. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, get your own cans by going to liquiddeath.com slash TMG. You'll get free shipping on all water and uh, merch. So that's liquiddeath.com slash TMG. Or you can grab some at Whole Foods uh, and 7-Eleven. Yes. Death to plastic. Is this a... What, what the is fuck this? is this? No, don't play this. We're going to get copyrighted. These channels are a bitch. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Um, we have more Megan Fox and MGK. Oh, I'm going to need to eat a bagel before we laugh at this. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you didn't hear us go off last week, you probably did hear it, actually. Well, most of the stuff that they said was actually from this video that GQ posted. It's an interview with both of them. Even better. Oh, I love the, the timestamp on this. <clears throat> Be abducted by a UFO. MGK, if you're interested, we can make that happen. Yeah, dude. We have one. Yeah. We'd love to bring you up. Yeah. I don't know if he would, though. <clears throat> no, he'd probably walk through that door and smack both of us. Yeah, and he leave. probably would. Yeah. He probably would. Definitely smack both of us. At least he'd try. <laughs> yeah. But we wouldn't be here to be smacked. <laughs> 
That'd be, that would be fucking hilarious. Beam him up. He walks on a set and we're just not there. Beam him up on like a Monday. Yeah. He's like, uh, supposed to. Oh, no, no. The email just said the guys just want you on the show. <laughs> so here you are. Go for it. Rolling. Do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see this. A hook you stand by. Okay, I'll give you a point yeah. for that. What's my favorite movie now? And if you don't know this, I'm going to be very upset at you. What's my favorite movie now? I can't wait for it to get cold, and I'm going to make yeah, popcorn no, 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 chocolate. No, you don't, you, don't have to, you don't have to go there. It's like an eight-series piece. We're talking yeah, about Harry one... mother f- Potter. Yes. Don't think that but I'm not tapped in. which one is my favorite? Obviously, Prisoners what? of Azkaban. <laughs> Prisoner of Azkaban. Prisoner of Azkaban. Yes, yes. That was a... Bob, did you see the handshake? Did he just, like, in, like... <laughs> Teach her to do like a blood handshake he learned from the internet. I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't believe that when I saw it. Play that again. Let's get an instant replay. One is my favorite. Uh, Harry mother Potter. Yes. Don't think that but I'm not tapped in. My- <laughs> we should do little, that every time. Little rocket power handshake. Harry motherfucking Potter, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) It's just just violent. (laughs) High five, dude. Good joke. Thanks. What's your favorite movie? Harry motherfucking Potter. <laughs> that that was that was ridiculous, man. <laughs> well, how, did he have to like teach her how to do that shit? Like, were they just like sit at home? He's like, no, you're gonna go like this, and then like that, and then th- it's cool. I don't know. I I think like between you know all the tantric <clears throat> night terrors or whatever yeah. the fuck, violent night terror sex. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think between the uh, rosary sex. Yeah. They're practicing handshakes, maybe. <laughs> you think they do that while she's on top? <laughs> he's riding his shit. Oh, no. He's like, oh, damn. <laughs> Killing this shit, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you about to make me motherfucking calm. <laughs> I don't know. What's another one? Do we have another clip from this? He didn't even say anything about getting abducted, What though. is my hidden talent? No, Buddha, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay. She, Only said, pe- she, she called him Buddha? High school. So high school. Was that not so high school? Buddha? What's my What's my hidden talent? Babe, don't. Don't even go there. <laughs> what if it's something actually dope? Like she can do magic? Yeah. Don't. She's like, she can do magic. Babe, what the fuck? <sighs> All right, pick a card. <laughs> Doing David Blaine shit. Just <laughs> no, she's really good at those sticks. You know the sticks where you juggle a third stick? What's that thing called? Yeah. What the fuck is that called? Yeah, oh yeah, and then everyone's like, oh damn. That's, <laughs> that's fucking he's hard. Like, Babe, don't, don't, don't. And he's like, you know those weird like three sticks? She's, she's like, really right. good at that. And he, she's like, Babe, what the fuck? I just told you not to say that. All right, fine, yeah. She can juggle. Okay, they roll out three chainsaws. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> devil sticks. Oh. Oh, that's the... Maybe she is good with devil sticks. Wow. Then MGK's in the back like, she's also good with another devil stick. Yeah. She's like, don't go there, <laughs> Buddha. <laughs> Putting that stick in the air. Damn, Okay. Only PG answers, she says. Okay, what's what's the hidden talent? PG rated answers. Okay, God. Well, one, your I, your IQ is. If you were my Jeopardy partner, you could would honestly win every single category. I've never you you are an almanac and encyclopedia and dictionary all in one. An almanac. <laughs> okay, so- pause. An almanac. <laughs> That's a crazy statement to make. Yeah, my girl could tell you the weather all the way back to 1980 <laughs> as it relates to irrigation and farming. 
Really? And she's really good with devil sticks, too. Yeah, dude, it's fucking crazy. She's just over there. <laughs> Super genius. In 1985, there was a crazy drought in rural Alabama because of the way the Gulf of Mexico was exhibiting. You know, fucking just like, whoa, shit. <laughs> she relates to the astrology as well. The pollution in the sky changed the way we observed the stars, and many people didn't realize that the Scorpios... Okay, damn. Damn. That was a good job. Thanks, bro. Ow! <laughs> Fuck! Next clip, please. Let's find out. What's my favorite way to decompress after a long time? Babe, babe, babe. <laughs> Don't. Don't say anything about devil sticks. Um, honestly, she likes to suck me off. <laughs> <laughs> Just really crass. What's my favorite way to decompress? Fucking my nut. <laughs> Slurping off my dong. <laughs> Probably when I make you squirt. <laughs> Babe. <clears throat> All right. What the doctor said? We cannot say that. On How do you even know what it because is? Because she. Okay, look. What the doctor said was. You are insane. Okay. We cannot say that on camera. That's your favorite way for me to decompress after a stressful day. What's my favorite way to decompress after a stressful day? That would be tea and a foot massage and reading a book and watching a show together. Probably crying a few tears. Definitely crying okay. for sure. From your pussy. <laughs> Damn. That dude has no pupil. Look at that shit. Empty ass <laughs> eye, man. That is scary, bro. He has no color in there. It's just darkness. <laughs> bro. I'm, oh, the, I'm, I'm just like I'm picturing the crew right now. They're just filming, pure silence. Babe, don't, don't. I think it's when you like to suck off my <laughs> big ass dick. <laughs> just holding it. Oh, um, maybe it's when you gargle my big fat nuts in your mouth. She's like, don't, don't, don't. They're like, <laughs> what, you're saying the camera guy's saying Yeah, that? like the camera guy's just like, no, 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 no. MGK <laughs> saying that shit. Oh, fucking camera crew tries to get in on it. I'm saying. I'm just picturing all these like old dudes who have had a crush on Megan Fox forever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Creepy, man. <laughs> Creepy. No. <laughs> we got to stop it right there. <laughs> stop it right there. What do you... Yeah, what is your favorite way to decompress? <laughs> I'm, I'm more picture a producer than just like arguing and being uncomfortable. We cannot talk about that. Well, I don't know. You like to do anal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys. We we actually can't put that on camera. <laughs> Sorry. It's going on YouTube and, you know, the monetization rules. And I won't bore you with it, but you can't say that. Okay. Um, MGK, maybe just uh, uh, weed. Maybe just say that. Yeah. Reference that again. I am weed. Weed, you know? Yeah. No, I think it's when she likes to suck my cock. Okay. Okay. We'll take five <laughs> and let's regroup. We should just change the question, actually. They seem to just enjoy so much, like, like uh, it's like so high school. Like, they're just sitting there being like, no, we can't tell them how we fuck because you know. We fuck. And it's yeah. like, every everyone fucks, man. <laughs> There's nothing that you've done that we haven't seen on Pornhub. I don't know, dude. Like, that's what we were talking about last week. If they were like, what's my favorite way to decompress? And he's like, oh, my God, you love stabbing newborns Children. in the face. Yeah. yeah, 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 that's true, yeah. And then, you know, we, like, have sex in their blood. What's your favorite? <laughs> <Producer's> <laughs> like, what? <Yeah. laughs> oh, wait, we can't say that on camera, right? We can't say that on camera? Oh, okay, okay. All the producers are like, what the fuck? Did he just incriminate say? himself? Oh, it must be when uh, we we go around driving to look for a nine-year-old so we could break their <laughs> kneecaps. What? <laughs> no, bro. Uh, babe, no, no. We love killing squid. <laughs> <laughs> babe. Uh. <laughs> they just wheel one out. Show us. <laughs> All right, 
What, what else? What else Brain last. Brain last. <laughs> no, you're nailing it. This is all. This is. This is hilarious because I just know where you're gonna go with this. What does my perfect day off look like? I mean, there is no day off. Is the point? She thinks that I work all the time. When's the last time you had a day off? When we went to Bora Bora in January. Almost a year ago. Mm. If I did have a day off, what would it look like? What did we do in Bora Bora that day? How long did we walk on that gravel road? An eternity because we ate mushrooms. Those mushrooms were very strong. Mm -hmm. and so your day off would be us wandering around on mushrooms? Yes, and, when, and then what did we see at night as soon as the system of a down song? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> but maybe it's endearing, you know, that they're regular people. Yeah, yeah, maybe. You know, maybe maybe it's not like like they're not trying to be over the top. Like, oh, we love to go to that seventeen thousand dollar restaurant. It's like, no, I just want to walk on the beach, take mushrooms. Maybe that part is endearing. No, but I think yeah, that, Bora Bora, I think yeah, the, yeah, yeah, true. <clears throat> I, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe it's just like their their tone. Their tone feels like they think what they do is really cool. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm saying. And maybe it's like not, they're not like trying. Maybe it's not true. I don't know. Yeah. But that's that's how it seems to me is that like they think that's really crazy and cool. Yeah. Maybe that's you know, I'm, you know I don't know why I'm sitting here trying to be positive. This shit is goofy as fuck. <laughs> this is. I just don't want more celeb beef. You know. It's just objectively goofy. Yeah. To like get on camera and be like, we have sex. <laughs> And we like drugs sometimes, too. <laughs> we are in Hollywood. We definitely are. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just it, this whole thing feels sort of... And it, I, yeah. That's it. That's, all, that's my commentary. Yep. Objectively weird. And they saw a UFO, too. Yeah, see, that's what I want to know about. What do they see this UFO? Might have been ours. For real. I know. I was there. How many albums do I have? He said he saw a UFO and she said that she was there. That's it? <laughs> like, that seems like that should be the part of the story that you tell. Yeah. Yeah, we don't care about your baby stabbing sex. Tell us about the UFO. Yeah. We want to know about that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, you're sitting on the sidelines <laughs> eating a hot dog. There are people out here fucking executing. <laughs> no days off, baby. Yeah. MGK is the Gary V of pop punk. Oh, very nice. So rich, wildly popular, an unstoppable force. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I don't know, man. This I like, in, in one respect, I feel a little bit bad, like, bagging on them, but then they did this, so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I was an animal, what animal would I be? No, 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 What's going on? Do you remember? Do you remember when? Do you remember? Did you catch that? Do you remember when? Do you remember when? <laughs> What'd she say? I don't. What, what is the joke here? I, I let's look for the photo. Cause this... Machine Gun Kelly photo, and then if you also Google any meerkat photo, and you split screen those. Oh, I hate you. You cannot tell the difference. Do that right now. No okay. one's ever looked more like an. What animal, animal do I? Does my personality remind you of? Sometimes like a bunny rabbit because you're sensitive and like also frightened and like fragile. And then other times like dragon. You say dragon, but it's mythological. Pause it. But I don't want to see this anymore. I don't want we're done. I don't want to watch this. Like anymore. not a single more word out of these two. We're done. I think the the holes in my brain that I already had are way deeper now. Like, I watch that and I feel like my brain is dolphin meat. Like, just <laughs> smooth. Like, just... Gorilla forehead? <laughs> no, that's rough. There's, like, lines in there. There's some degree of, like, memory. Dolphin skin? Yeah, just dolphin... No, the meat underneath that smooth-ass <laughs> shit. Just glistening, stupid, lobotomized. This is me just feeding tube. 
Yeah. <laughs> just watching MGK <laughs> making Fox interviews. <laughs> <laughs> Meerkat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, now that we all have Swiss cheese brains, <clears throat> does the Swiss have the holes in it? Yeah. I got to eat a bar or something. I'm hungry as fuck. Yeah. And then we're going to... What are we talking about on the bonus? Oh, Succession. I watched it last night. First episode. Yeah. God damn. It's awful, right? No. What? No. I'm just doubling down on being a contrarian. No. It's on everything. It's literally good. the worst show ever. I should have directed it and wrote it. I would have did it way better. No, it's good and you're wrong. It's the best show and we're going to talk about it in the bonus. I literally well could have wrote it, shot it, directed it, edited it, colored it, uh, sound boomed it. What's my favorite show? Sh- shot it. What's your favorite show? What's my favorite show? Uh, I cannot wait for it to get cold and I'm going to bundle up and eat some popcorn and watch this show. You don't even have to say it, dude. Motherfucking succession, dude. No. Ow! Ow! Ow. I don't want it. I don't want it. All right. Ow. I hit my fucking (laughs) shoulder blade on the thing. All right. Tune in to the bonus, everyone. We're going to murder Squid for the next hour. See you soon. Real Squid game. Yeah. (laughs) I'm just fucking. (laughs) 